Each country in the world has its representative landmark. In Korea, there is Lotte World Tower, comparable to a huge vertical city. Let's take a look at the scientific principles and amazing technologies hidden behind this huge skyscraper. The skyscraper, the integrated result of technologies and hard work. Lotte Tower Knowledge. The weight of Lotte World Tower is whopping 750,000 tons, which is equivalent to that of all citizens living in Seoul. The underground ground is basically strong enough to support this. But into a solid rock bed 30 meters underground, 108 concrete piles of 1 meter in diameter and 30 meters in depth are driven to further reinforce the foundation. Just like a giant tree, the skyscraper is rooted deep down in the ground. On this reinforced ground, a high-strength concrete block as big as a football field was used for the foundation. For this, the depositing concrete must be completed at a time. So many workers and equipment were put to use all at once for 32 hours on end, which is a remarkable achievement, first time in Korea and the second time in the world. Lotte World Tower can withstand a strong earthquake of magnitude 9 and a typhoon of 80 meters per second. This means it will survive much stronger earthquakes than that occurred in Kobe, Japan and more powerful typhoons like Hurricane Katrina. The secret lies in the wind and seismic design utilizing the core wall, mega columns, outriggers and belt trusses. These columns, these mega columns, are so huge and so strong that tests have been made of flying airplane engines directly into such a column, and the column doesn't move, the column is not dented. A bamboo tree can bend, but can't be broken because of its nodes. Lotte World Tower has outriggers and belt trusses installed every 40 stories that work just like bamboo nodes to control swaying from wind and earthquakes. The top floor of the tower has a mesh-type diagrid structure with strong lateral and vertical force resistance. Lotte World Tower used 80 megapascal high-strength concrete, three times stronger than regular ones. This means a dice-sized such concrete cube is solid enough to stand the weight of 12 adult men. Vertical pumping technology that pumps concrete up to a height of 500 meters. The extremely high pressure shoot the concrete smoothly while it's on its way and let it harden quickly after it gets to its destination. Also, this technology pumped 150 megapascal concrete up to 500 meters for the first time in Korea and made it possible to build high-rise buildings of over 1,000 meters in height later in the future. Can you believe it if each floor of this huge high-rise building is done in every three or four days? The secret lies in the auto-climbing formwork system. When the concrete is hardened after it is poured, the mold is automatically lifted by hydraulic and mechanical mechanisms. This permits three or four day floor-to-floor -floor construction cycle time. Lotte World Tower has used as much amount of concrete as to build an apartment building for 3,500 households and as much amount of steel as to build seven Eiffel Towers and about five million workers participated annually in this project. The most important equipment to carry this huge amount of materials and workers to the right places is the tower crane and hoist. What's used in this project is a 64-ton tower crane, the largest ever used in Korea. And an advanced bracket method is used installing brackets and pedestals on the wall instead of on the ground. This is the world's first to use such a bracket method in building a skyscraper over 500 meters high. After the construction is complete, dismantling this supersized tower crane requires an advanced technology. The dismantling operation is conducted in two stages. 
First, the medium-sized crane installed on the 123rd floor dismantles the large crane by sections and sends them down to the 79th floor. Then, another installed on the 79th floor sends them down to the ground. This medium-sized crane is dismantled again by a small crane and sent to the ground, and the last remaining small crane is dismantled there and sent to the ground via an elevator inside the building. The hoist is on a power rail system that runs on an electric conductor without cables. It was installed on the 80th floor for transfer due to the shape of the building. This is also the first technology ever used in Korea. For a skyscraper, a ground level 1 degree difference in angle means a slope of over 10 meters at the top. That's why the Global Navigation Satellite System called GNSS is used. The error is adjusted based both on the values measured simultaneously by four satellites and readings of seven inclinometers. The curtain wall is like a transparent armor that creates a beautiful appearance. It consists of 21,000 units and each of the unit weighs over 600 kilograms. Even more surprising is that 17,000 of these are all in different shapes. Because the shape of the building slopes towards the top, precise technologies are required taking account of the height, width, and corner angles of each unit to be installed in the entire slope zones. The exterior maintenance gondola inside the tower can travel outside the building when needed and run along the rail to be used for maintenance of the building. The double-deck elevators run 496 meters from the second floor of the tower to the observatory on the 121st floor. 55 meters longer than the 441 meter one in Burj Khalifa, these super-fast double-deck elevators have the world's longest travel distance. It takes less than 60 seconds to reach the observation deck, six times faster than typical elevators in other buildings. At the top of the tower that sways slightly in heavy winds, the escalator to the observation deck also runs very safely. The disaster prevention system the Structural Health Monitoring System has about 500 sensors and advanced measuring systems installed in various places in the building. The system checks and manages the structural stability and safety against typhoons, earthquakes and terrorism for 24 hours. The special refractory concrete can withstand fire for at least three hours. There are five evacuation areas to be reached within 15 minutes from each floor. All of those 19 high-speed elevators are immediately converted to ones for an evacuation purpose. So more than 15,000 residents can evacuate from each evacuation area to the ground within 62 minutes. This is a shorter evacuation time than Burj Khalifa, which takes 87 minutes from four evacuation areas to the ground. About 15% of the total energy consumption is generated from renewable sources such as solar, wind, and geothermal. This is equivalent to planting 8.5 million pine trees. Lotte World Tower is a smart building filled with cutting-edge IT technologies. All infrastructures in the building, such as the energy management system, lighting, temperature, power supply, and high-speed communication throughout the building are automatically controlled. And through the high-speed communication network, smart systems work for a variety of purposes in this complex building. Lotte World Tower is a monumental landmark that rewrites the world's skyscraper history. The structural design with safety put first. The new technologies and new records achieved by constant challenges. Without sweat and toil of its five million hard-working employees, there would not be Lotte World Tower. Now, with the proven technology and capacity to complete the tower, Lotte will continue to play a leading role in the world construction market, where competition over building skyscrapers is accelerating. Lotte World Tower is not just what's built on the ground, it's a new history written on the sky.